Hi guys, Roman Stylus here, bringing you this review on Prototype 2. Prototype 2 lets you continue the New York Rampage by letting you control yet another super protagonist, leaving behind a path of destruction and following in the footsteps of Alex Mercer. Well, I hope you enjoy this review on Prototype 2. Prototype 2 is an action-adventure open-world game developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Activision for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC released in 2012. The game centres around new protagonist James Heller, a soldier returning from Iraq and goes on a quest to destroy the Blacklight virus, developed by the Blackstone organisation as it once again ravages New York City and also to avenge his wife and daughter who have been killed by the virus. Early on, Heller is infected by the virus by Alex Mercer, the protagonist of the first game, granting him similar superpowers. Heller can shapeshift and assume other people's identities and memories by consuming them, allowing him to sneak into restricted areas and perform covert missions. So long as you don't blow your cover, you'll be able to walk freely in restricted sections. However, being as powerful as you are, you can just walk in and not be bothered by the resistance. Shapeshifting can lead to some unintentionally comic moments when in other guises, such as seeing a scientist fly through the sky and nobody batting an eyelid. People will also react differently to Heller depending on which identity he has assumed. So for example, if the player becomes a soldier, then people will react to him in a way that shows they want nothing to do with him due to Blackstone's actions in New York City. Heller has a range of superhuman abilities, like being able to rip a cannon off a tank and sneaking up behind unsuspecting foes and injecting them with the virus to create a biobomb to blow up the surrounding area. The number of abilities Hella has is incredibly intoxicating and very satisfying to use. During each playthrough, you'll try to think of new and creative ways of taking down your enemies. Hella also has access to a sonar sense that highlights key features in an area to try and make it easier for the player to find objects of interest, instead of looking for someone with an icon above their heads, as in the previous game. The player can purchase a variety of upgrades, some lifted from the original prototype, while others are completely new like tendrils which cause further destruction. Side missions can now be accessed by hacking into Blacknet, Blackwatch's system that details military operations, where the player can find a number of operations that they can disrupt or take control of, as well as finding people that can help her find more about the Blacklight virus. These missions can be treated as side quests or extensions to the main game to flesh out the story. Visually, the game more or less looks identical to the first prototype, with some muddy textures having been cleared up, although draw distance can still be an issue particularly when you're flying, and buildings will suddenly pop up in the distance, which can be a bit jarring. New York itself is well detailed and geographically correct, but it's nothing you haven't seen before in other sandbox games involving Manhattan. Development for Prototype 2 soon started after the release of the first game, and was first shown at the Spike 2010 VGA Awards in December, with the game receiving more coverage at E3 the following year, and the April 2011 issue of EGM Magazine detailing the new features of the game. Music was composed by Scott Morgan and stays close to the dark themes of the first game, creating an oppressed atmosphere with discordant melodies representing the slow decay of New York as the Blacklight virus mutates everything in its path. As much fun as this game is, it's just too easy and there is very little challenge. You can upgrade Hell's arsenal pretty quickly, meaning that you are an unstoppable powerhouse from the get-go and that you can take out anything the game throws at you. Enemy AI still isn't the smartest and won't even react to you consuming a fellow soldier and morphing into him, which lessens the stealth sections of the game. A narrative issue I had was that it's unclear why Mercer infects Hella in the first place. There doesn't seem to be any particular reason why Mercer would want to create another superhuman like himself, leaving the situation rather contrived just as an excuse to set up the inevitable confrontation between the two of them at the end of the game. I didn't find James Heller to be nearly as interesting or compelling a character as Alex Mercer was in Prototype. In my opinion, Heller just comes across as a generic, nondescript jarhead who doesn't offer much to the story, and aside from the revenge angle, there is little for the player to become emotionally invested in him. Having said that, I did like the idea of the protagonist of the first game becoming the antagonist of the sequel, which I think adds a new layer of complexity. It's just a shame that the main character in Prototype 2 is just so dull. While there were some control issues of the first game, they have been tightened in the sequel and respond well to your commands. Unleashing an impressive chain of attacks can be performed by simply pressing or holding down the same button. The new control scheme makes the game much more accessible and opens up Prototype 2 to a wider audience. Performing iconic moves like elbow drops has never been easier. Yes, Prototype 2 is more of the same with the rampant violence and mayhem cranked up to 11. If you liked what the first game had to offer, then you're sure going to love Prototype 2. Like its predecessor, 
Prototype 2 is a very visceral game that will appeal to any hardcore gamer's dark side. Go check it out! Well that was my review on Prototype 2. If you liked what you saw let me know by leaving a comment, rate this video and subscribe. Visit me on Facebook, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace out guys.